Welcome back to another episode of Big Movie Mouth Off. Uh, we are not in Ruby Cinema Pub. Not uh, today. Not today. We are actually at the Fear Factory in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, it's October, folks, and uh, it's uh, the address is 666 West. That is not a joke. 666 <laughs> it's West. It's very conveniently located. <laughs> right? Uh, 800 South. You can uh, go to fearfactorysllc.com, find out all the times and prices and whatnot. They got deals going on all the time, or you can find them on Facebook. It's, uh, it's Fear Factory SLC on Facebook. But uh, wow, I'm Jimmy Martin with KUTV. You can catch me every Saturday and Sunday on Two News This Morning between 7 and 8 a.m. And uh, well, you just keep coming back. I know. <laughs> I dare you to keep. I'm like Michael Myers. <laughs> you just try to stop me. It's Brooks Bird again, <laughs> blogcritics.org. Where do you find it? Blogcritics.org? On the internet. On the internet. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, you can find Big Movie Mouth Off on Xfinity Channel 6. It's at 6.30 p.m. every day. What a time slot. And then you can also find us on uh, the On Demand system. It's Utah On Demand, uh, Salt Lake Alternative. Oh, actually, not Salt Lake Alternative. We got a new folder. It's movies and film. <laughs> so it's a new one for us, obviously, if it's not in my brain yet. And, uh, but we can find movies both young and old. Uh, if you missed it, it's on Blu-ray. Sure, whatever. Uh, or it's new, and it's in theaters. It's Annabelle. John, wake up. What? Next door, I heard a scream. Stay here. I'll go check it out. John? Is everything all right? Oh my God, they're covered in blood. Go back inside. It's not mine. It's not. Go back inside and call an ambulance right now. Go! I like your dog. You survived. You don't come out the other side of something like this weaker. What is there left to be scared of? This is the last of them. How did that get in there? I swear, I threw it out. Things must have got mixed up. There, she fits right in. <laughs> and she's here. I'm not turning around again. It's <laughs> creepy. Uh, so, <laughs> here we go. Uh, Annabelle is actually a prequel of... Um, they're going backwards. Well, they're going backwards from The Conjuring. And there's a giant train going by right now. <laughs> That's what happens when you film at a fear factory. Can't help it. So We're live. Uh, <laughs> we're live. Uh, so uh, it's the prequel to The Conjuring. At the beginning of The Conjuring, you got to see Annabelle, this creepy doll in a case. And that was kind of it. You didn't, yeah. really, you didn't really get too much of Annabelle in that one. Well, It was just someone complaining that she was creeping them out. You're right. So now you get your Annabelle. Uh, so basically the story is, is a, uh, uh, a married couple are, are, yeah, they're expecting a baby. Uh, someone breaks into their home and... Well, the neighbors. Well, it's, no, they, they bring the neighbors home and kill the neighbors. And then they come over to their house and they're like, we're going to kill you too. Because it's a Halloween movie, why wouldn't we? Everyone dies. <laughs> right? So, um, so basically what happens is the, the intruders are killed. And in one fashion or another, the girl puts her spirit in the doll. Well, it was the drop of blood from her eye. And it, it sucks into the it in. eye of Annabelle. <laughs> so, uh, so after that, weird, thing, baby. weird things start happening. Uh, you know, stoves are turned on. Uh, Doors slammed shut. Sewing machines. I've never been so terrified of a sewing machine. <laughs> so, uh, and we find out that, well, they weren't just intruders. They were a part of a satanic cult. And the neighbor's <laughs> daughter came back to kill them as part of their religious rites. <laughs> So, uh, like you do. <laughs> like you do. It's a Halloween movie. It's a horror film. It's like a funhouse ride. It is. You know, it's one of those things. It's, it's one of the, you know, people are like, well, is it good? It's a movie about a doll. It's and about then, a killer doll. Killer doll. What do you think? I mean, like, would you say that the Chucky movies are good? Well, it's Probably not, not. It's a little different from Chucky, at least. 
Yeah. She never really does anything herself. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, of camera shots where it's just the, the doll like this. Staring at you. <laughs> For the longest time. <laughs> so Which is um, pretty much all you need. But you know what? These kind of films, you know, it, it, uh, they always say they're pretty much film critic proof. Yeah, that we're, we're people are going to go anyway. <laughs> we're spinning our tires. It doesn't matter whether we like them or not. Right. <laughs> but I did. Did you? I did. I had a lot of fun. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, you know why I had fun? Okay, I'm sitting there watching like, this is stupid. This is really dumb. <laughs> They're always dumb. But. but having my wife next to me and her friend. Scream their heads off. Losing their minds. Kicking the at, seat in front of them, basically. Yeah. You know, every critic was in there. Like, I had a, uh, a fellow critic uh, yesterday go, does she usually behave like that in theaters? Like that? And I go, yeah, usually. Usually. So, uh, so no, it, it's fun in that sense. You know, is it, is it cinematic genius? No. No. But it's not trying to be. <laughs> no, it's, it's a not. horror movie. You Come know, on. It, I will say this though, and this is definitely a plus on its side. I am so sick and tired of paranormal activity movies, oh, yes. found footage movies, found footage. security footage films, stuff like that. It's nice to see a horror film with some production value to it. And you know what actually surprised me the most? Hmm. There's, I don't think there's any blood in it whatsoever after that opening scene. I think you might be right. I don't think there is. Which is weird because that was a very violent was, scene. There was a lot of blood in the beginning. Yeah. And it even almost got Red Wedding, but they didn't go there. You're right. I think you're absolutely right. But it's rated R. Yeah. Well, The and Conjuring it, got an R rating just for sound effects. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's so, weird. Did it say sound probably, effects in the, on the R? No, what? not on the R, but that's what the official release was. <laughs> that's funny. They said it was just too scary. <laughs> Good lord. We're not giving you the PG-13. <laughs> There are things happening that I, that I can't explain. We should talk to someone. I don't think what you're experiencing is a ghost. Sometimes demons can attach themselves to objects. What do I do? Protect your family. It's one of those films. It's it's it is what it is essentially. It's a fun time. It's I I'm giving it two stars. You know, it's is the acting great? No. No. Is uh, is the plot line good? Of course not, not really. You know, it's you've seen it a dime a dozen. Yeah. But uh, it's it's a Halloween film. It, it's opening up the Halloween season. It's a perfect time and it gets the job done. Does it look better than Ouija? Absolutely. <laughs> Which brings <laughs> us back to those dreaded PG-13 horror movies. Right. Those so watered down. I will say this, uh, in the scene, I, and I gotta mention this because I I thought it was terrifying. The basement? The, no, it wow. was, well, that was that was pretty good too. The basement was good, but the scene when the intruders are killing the neighbors, oh. the, the camera is in- uh, It's very voyeuristic. It, it's in the two leads bedroom, and I, my dad always called them toilet paper houses because if you're <laughs> taking a crap and you ran out of toilet paper, you. you could lean over and uh, grab some toilet paper from your neighbor's house. But you can see the neighbors being murdered in the other house, like like with, with no sound, yeah, with no sounds or nothing, that was horrifying. I was like, "Wow, this movie's gonna be really good." Like, and then that was pretty much the best. That and was his best shot. Into a horror movie. Yeah. So, uh, two stars from my end. You know, it, again, it's it's a Halloween movie. Well, I'm a bigger fan of horror movies sometimes, so True. I have to give it three. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. You never knew when the next sound was sound effect was gonna clang your way, but right. I didn't rely on them. I will say this, oh, there's a giant train going by now. Here it comes. But, uh, you know, we'll wrap this up, but like, you know, uh, the one thing that these people should learn is uh, repetition. Yes. If the same thing happens repetition four times in a row, happens. it'll probably happen a five, fifth time and, <laughs> and sixth, seventh, and eighth. It happens so. every time. <laughs> All right. Three stars from this kid. Uh, he loves his horror films way more than I do. But uh, two stars from my end. Again, it's a movie about a doll. How much, how serious can you really take it? And she's over there. She's right there. I turned around again and now I'm freaked out. <laughs> okay, so uh, close it up. Uh, be sure to check out Fear Factory. Uh, it's 666 West. It's not a joke. 666 West, 800 South. Go to their website. It's fearfactorysllc.com or find them on Facebook. 
uh, Fear Factory SLC. Like them, come to the hunt. They're here all month long. And uh, thanks for coming on again, bud. Thanks for having me. Annabelle. Weird. <laughs>